Celery juice is the most powerful tool of our time. Hey guys, welcome back. So where are our first time celery juicers at? That's what we're going to be talking about today. We're doing kind of like frequently asked questions about celery juice for beginners. Yeah, and it's a new year, so it's the perfect time to bring it in if you haven't been doing it, and it's just so beneficial for your health. Start something new with this new year. Yep. So, celery juice, what are the benefits? Well, there are so many, but to give you guys a few, or more than a few, it's gonna help with acid reflux, it's gonna help heal those autoimmune diseases, it's gonna help strengthen your adrenal glands. Reverse illness, uh, remove toxins from the liver, kill off any sort of bad bacteria. It's gonna kill viruses like Epstein-Barr and the shingles virus. It's gonna lower the heat in your liver. It's a powerful weapon against like SIBO or if you're experiencing bloating. And it is a great, great thing for your gut health yeah everybody has gut problems today so this celery juice will really get the job done so what is the ideal amount of celery juice that people should drink to get the healing benefits so anthony <laughs> says at a minimum 16 ounces but if you really want to feel the healing benefits you got to do 24 ounces now this is our second celery of the day Mm-hmm. Yep. In the mornings, we drink 32 ounces. So 32 ounces, it's really going to allow celery to do its job and sweep out the system. Yeah. And as a beginner, start, you know, 16, 20, 24 ounces, and then work your way up to that 32 ounces every day. So it's afternoon time right now, mm -hmm. but when is the best time to drink your celery juice? Well, first thing in the morning really is the best time because that's when you're definitely going to have an empty stomach. So what we do is we, we first drink 32 ounces of lemon water to gently flush our livers, and then we wait 20 to 30 minutes after we finish that water to then drink our 32 ounces of celery juice. If you need to drink it later in the day, then just make sure you wait to drink your celery juice an hour after you've eaten any food and 20 to 30 minutes after you have drank any liquids. So how much celery do you actually need to make 16 ounces of celery juice? Well, I'll show them. Okay. <laughs> okay, no. Oh, you didn't eat the whole box? No, that's enough for the week for us. <laughs> um, so you need one yeah. stock. That's it. One, one. Bunch. Bunch. Yeah, I think bunch. This is a stock. This is a bunch. So you just need one bunch. And you want it to be a good size bunch to get you at least 16 ounces. Yes. Yeah. Not a small bunch. So what's the best juicer for celery juice? So the best juicer for celery juice is from Omega. Yeah, and so Omega makes a juicer that is specifically made for celery juice. Yes, it's the MM900 HDS model. Um, this one is a little bit different. It looks very similar to it. We had bought this before they came out with a celery juice model. But the celery juice model has a special attachment that just really squeezes the pulp mm -hmm. to get the most juice possible out of it. So we, we love our Omega juicer, but if you're gonna really go full force with celery juice and wanna save, save on money, we recommend you check out that juicer. And we'll link it below so you guys can, can check it out. So what if you don't have a juicer, but you wanna give celery juice a try? Well, you can do it in a blender. And we use a Vitamix and blender like this. We chop it up. 
Recipe Speed Blender. Then we have our little nut milk bag here. You dump it in the nut milk bag. You put it over your little glass. And then you squeeze, <laughs> squeeze, squeeze it out. And you've got some celery juice. But then if you end up doing this long term, getting a juicer is really going to be the easiest and best way to do it because it's going to be more potent that way. And you get every last little drop with the Omega. So do you have to make your celery juice right away or can you give it some time before you drink it? So it's best to make it first thing when you're about to drink it. But it is good for up to 24 hours, so if you need to make it, say, the night before and that way it's all ready for you in the morning, that's okay. Just be sure to seal it with the lid. So we've got our mason jars and then we have mason jar lids. Be sure you seal it nice and tight and then you store it in the fridge. That way it's going to stay fresh. Um, and it, like I said, it will last up to 24 hours, but it's best to drink as soon as possible because every hour it starts to lose its potency. Uh, what if you can't stand the taste <laughs> of celery juice? <laughs> well, if you can't stand the taste of celery juice and it's just like you can't even get it down, what you can do to start is juice maybe some apple or some cucumber with it. That way you can just get the juice in you, start getting your taste buds used to the celery juice, and then slowly decrease the amount of apple or cucumber you have in there and in increase the celery juice. And eventually you want it to get to just the celery juice because you are not gonna get the same benefits when there's stuff mixed in there. You want just the celery juice. You can also cut off the leaves of the celery because that's going to make it taste really bitter and try to avoid really dark green celery because that's definitely going to taste bitter. Um, there are bunches out there that we get lucky and it actually tastes pretty sweet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. And you, you like the taste of celery, right? Yeah, you're, you're, I mean, your body will love it over time. In was, the beginning, yeah. it was very tough for us to drink, but now it's like, it's sweet. And you notice every batch of celery tastes a little bit different. Yeah. And Anthony says that it's actually good to have a little celery from different farms because they're grown in different conditions, different weather, different soil. So each one is going to have different minerals and vitamins and in nutrients in in that celery yeah. so eventually your body will crave it so is there anything that can be added to celery juice to make it more beneficial not not more beneficial because celery juice is the most powerful tool of our time um, so you don't want to add anything to the celery juice mm -mm. it's not going to benefit it's not going to make it more powerful it's actually gonna make it less powerful for you and not as healing. So, you know, don't add a lime, don't add a lemon, don't, don't add. add apple cider vinegar, don't add ap uh, activated charcoal, collagen, don't add these things to your celery juice. Celery juice is best enjoyed by itself. It's that powerful, all on its own. Don't add any water, don't add any ice, because that will affect it too. Yep. All right, so how long? How long before I start drinking celery juice am I going to start feeling the benefits of celery? So that's going to vary from person to person. Um, for example, when we started it, Ben was chronically ill. I was fairly healthy. We both started doing it. Ben saw like almost like immediate results while I, you know, saw some results, but couldn't really tell to be in one. <laughs> yeah, you could feel it, you know. I was so sick I couldn't get off the couch for like a year and a half, two years. and Prior to the juice. Prior to the juice and medical medium's information. So, you know, the celery juice provided instant relief. I mean... 
it was like the day I drank it, I felt like I had more energy. And then every day after that, my energy kept getting better and better. I was less fatigued. I had more energy. And then, you know, two weeks into it, uh, I felt like I could get off the couch and kind of do some of those things that I was doing before. And, you know, over time, I just kept getting better and better and better and better. And now, I mean, we drink this stuff all the time. We've yeah. been drinking it twice a day. Over like a year, yeah, we did the twice a day thing. And Ben saw some amazing improvements with oh, that. Game changer. It was like two times a day. I would always, when I was really sick, it was like I'd hit a wall around like four o'clock. I'd have that second celery juice and I'd be able to get through my day no problem. Yeah. Another thing that would affect it, um, how soon you might see the benefits is what you are also incorporating into your diet and what else you're eating. So when we started the celery juice, we also switched to a plant-based diet, you know, removed preservatives, removed dairy, eggs, like all sorts of things. Gluten. We, gluten. We switched to the like medical medium protocols to also help heal him. Um, so that also played a part because eliminating those things, a lot of those things that we eliminated were actually feeding viruses, feeding bugs. It allowed the celery juice to really do its job because we were also incorporating really healing foods into our daily lifestyle. So even if you're just bringing in the celery juice and you're not changing your diet, you will still, you know, get benefits from it, but you will see quicker benefits if you're also cleaning up your diet. Yeah. And we have a lot of great videos on our channel that you can check out about cleaning up your diet. Um, and if you need guidance with that, just drop us a comment and we'll help guide you on what videos to check out first. Cool. Well, Hope you enjoyed this. You know, if All you're right. a beginner out there, give celery a try. Yeah, comment below if you are going to jump on the celery juice wagon. We'd love to hear it and hear if this video helped you. See ya. See you guys.